external style sheet and uh, how to style HTML. But this video will be looking at how to actually implement uh, iframes in ATM. So let's say uh, HTML iframe iframes. Okay. So uh, let me quickly duplicate this. Uh, we'll be using one as an example. So I'm gonna duplicate this real quick. Uh, let me name this. Let me name this iframe just for example okay so in here we need to clear everything in here uh, we'll not be using a style here so let me comment this real quick yeah so let me get rid of it so I do we're gonna use uh, the iframe tag which is simply iframe and inside our iframe we can add our source so what I just duplicated which is the iframe here I just need to just use the SRC which is the source in order to reference it so let me reference the iframe here and then and then let's try this app in the browser let's see what we have so let me reload this okay great so as we can see we had the whole page being minimized into this iframe so this means you can always open a page or any HTML file within a particular border of iframe. So at first it was showing the whole page, but as I reference to that file, which is the one here, it's actually only opening in the iframe tag. So let's look at other ways to use iframe but here is i can also clear this border right at the side of the iframe by adding the style like st style and then i can add border border to it and border i can say none so that means it should not show in the border let me reload this real quick then we can have this and if there's a lot of test or content in here it's gonna be scrollable up and down just within this iframe we have but let's look at other ways to actually use iframes so we can we can have iframes open from other links and also we can have iframes open from a file just like what we did here but we can also add width and height to this iframe so for example let me add a width here so so that i specify the size of the iframe so here is 400 and then let me add a height to this so height and height is 200 then I say let me reload it okay so per my specification I have size the iframe to what I want and I can decide to take the border from there no to to take the none from there so that I show the border so we see so you see now we have borders on the iframe but uh, what if uh, what if we want the iframe to cover to this side I mean we can simply you know increase this and then we have covering almost the whole screen so this is how we can do 
or include iframe inside our HTML page but we can also have a way we could have a link beneath it anytime we click on the link it loads only in the iframe in instead of to take the whole page so let's see how we can do that here so since I already have one iframe at the top what I'm going to do is to create another iframe right beneath it so let me do this let's say iframe and over here instead to use this file I'm going to use let me add a word to it first and then let me do a src and then I'll refer to oh, let me do a space here yeah so let's say we want to open google in here so I'll just I'll just copy that in there let's see what we get here oh I want to open a link inside here so let me do this way I do href here and then I will say this is uh, Google and then let me add the Google link to it okay then I'm gonna give this a name which is uh, iframe iframe okay so this will will have the href then we have no, since we'll be opening the link, we want to open this link inside this iframe. So I'm gonna take up this from there, and then instead of it being in the iframe, we're gonna use an anchor tag. So it applies to your link anchor tag, and then here is an anchor tag. Let me rather put this in a paragraph tag. The anchor tag inside a paragraph tag. Okay. So I copy the entire thing and then I paste it here since we want to open it inside this this iframe then I need to add the target to it so the target is gonna be this our name here which is iframe so let me say target and the name is what iframe okay so now let's save this and see how it looks on the screen okay so we have the link here now let's see what happens so immediately we click on the link we need to see Google open in this let me reload this page again Let me see, did we have iframe? Let me see what went wrong. Okay, let's say I want to use this page. Let me see what. Okay. So Google is supposed to load in there.
Okay, so now that we have the href and uh, the, let me change the link to see. Probably showing the white space. Okay, exactly what we wanted to see. It's showing it w the glue was showing only the white space at the top, so and it wasn't loading as quick as we wanted, so we can simply change the name of this to this one since we are using the MLB for reference sake we can change this to MLB Google was not loading real quick for us to see that inside the iframe so this can show so you can always tweak how you want to use the iframe sometimes you want to open certain things only in a particular fixed area of your screen and you don't want it to open in the entire screen you can use the iframe to do that and uh, it's really really easy to implement by just calling the iframe touch but mostly if you want to keep uh, you want to hide the borders you can easily return to what we did first by adding a star to it and then with the star you need to do border and with the border you need to add none to it yeah mostly depending on how you want to use it on your page then you have no borders there so this is apparently open this HTML iframe here but when you click the link as the MLB link now then it changes to the page inside the size of the iframe thanks i'm out please subscribe to my channel and let's continue with the other videos